Garner Guitar, take your playing to the next level. Hey, how's it going? Lane Garner here. Uh, today I'm going to do a little pedal demo for you. Um, it's this pedal here in the corner, the Earthquaker Devices Pitch Bay. Um, it is kind of like an octave pedal uh, gone crazy. So you have up and down um, any semitone up or down to an octave. Um, so it starts with a half step. There's no unison. It goes all the way to an octave. Uh, that's these first two switches here. Then you have the mix of those uh, respectively. You actually have a really nice gain circuit here. Uh, it's pretty fuzzy. It sounds really nice. Uh, big fan of it. Then you also have your bass tone, uh, just the octave that you're playing in, and then yeah, your fuzzy overdrive here. So let's hear it just by itself. Um, I have just a little bit of compression and boost uh, going and a little bit of reverb, so. That's the dry sound. So let me kill the gain on here. The tracking is pretty good. Sometimes it sounds just a little out of tune to me. But in a nice analog kind of way. Um, so let's start with kind of a normal setting. Uh, this should be an octave up. So now we can just hear that. Mix it in with the normal tone. So you can see half step to so it actually hits an octave right about there. And there's just some dead space. Let's add some of the in some of the lower octave now. So that's just an octave down. Sounds pretty good just by itself, really. Uh, good kind of a bass sound. Again, it sounds a little out of tune to use in that way. Now, if we mix it in though, it's a nice, a nice sub kind of sound. So let's bring back in, uh, there we go. All right, let's actually kill all of those and just hear the gain circuit by itself. Sorry for the buzz. Sounds good on its own, but when we really add in those others, it sounds cool. It's a cool sound delay in. All right, so turn the gain down a little bit and let you hear how it tracks uh, polyphonic stuff. some pretty dissonant chords there, it can really track pretty well. Let's 
see how it does with the gain circuit going. It's a little muddy, but it still works. Um, okay, so let me show you one of my favorite things I found to do with this pedal. Um, using the Strymon Flint up here for reverb and tremolo. Um, now, I have a hard intensity, so it's cutting off all the way. Listen to it without. All right, so if I feed it, I'm going to feed it with this plexi drive. Check this craziness out. All in all, the uh, Pitch Bay is a really great pedal. Um, one downside I see to it is these pitch knobs would be better if they were notched. If it's a smooth, a smooth little thing that happens here when you turn it. So if it had just little grooves, little notches um, between each of the different intervals, I think that it would be a little easier to navigate, especially in a live setting. Um, if you want to change something, it's really hard to do. Um, you can come. You can always. You can always find the octave. Uh, but anything else, you have to kind of hear it to get it there. Uh, you can have a favorite setting. Uh, leave it there. But if anything gets moved, it can. It's. It can change really easily. So if these two knobs were just notched. This would be an even cooler pedal than it is. So uh, be sure to sign up for the mailing list at GarnerGuitar.com. Uh, you'll be updated about new videos, video lessons, blog posts, and uh, some new stuff I have going for you guys. So thanks a lot for watching, and until next time, keep playing.